Someone told me I look like Madame Zeroni from Holes. Anyways, I'm ready to be roasted into oblivion so I can sleep well. I leave and start. You can't take away my rights if I don't have any sukkah. I am a liberal Muslim and I'm divorced. Michigan road construction lasted longer than my marriage. You are the opposite of a Turkish delight. I loved you in the cartoon Johnny Quest. Stoning you would be a waste of rocks. It's about time a liberal Muslim woman turned the tables on her male counterparts and demanded equality. Because the only way she'll ever get attention from 72 virgins is by offering herself up on Reddit. You look like the one snake charmer that can't get a snake anywhere near her hole. You look like the Maharaja from Temple of Doom. The years have been pretty good to you since that fight in the mines with short round. You should really consider wearing a full hijab. You are so incredibly plain, your stripper name would be Maharaja. This is the one time Apu wouldn't say come again. So when do I get my three wishes? Someone told me I look like God press the random button. Your hair looks like dehydrated urine. Is the lower half of your body a centaur? Yes yes we get it, you're not like other girls. You look like an amateur tutorial on how to make your own Planet of the Apes mask. You look like if Simba worked at Starbucks. Your application for acceptance into the human race has been denied. Unfrozen caveman barista. You look like the flying dog dragon thing from Never Ending Story. You look like a League of Legends character. You look like a bootleg witcher. I'm 5 feet 9 inches, 19 and check, and I've been a bit too content with how I look in the past 2 days, also my dream used to be becoming a Victoria's Secret model. Feel free to roast the hell out of me. With those dead eyes you've got a better chance at becoming a Victoria's Secret mannequin. I didn't think it was possible, but you look like a ghetto Iggy Azalea. ET called, he wants his fingers back. Better check those man hands before becoming a model. I'm sure that those smile muscles are practically non-existent. You look like you'd have a profile on a mail order bride website called the check is in the mail. You look like your Starbucks coffee order is at least two sentences long. I eat popcorn for dinner and I haven't showered in two weeks, please. You look like a troll doll that's been used as a crack pipe. Your whole entire face could stunt double for the back of a cat. I'm sorry man I can't drive you to court today and you owe me 20 bucks for drinking all my bush light I keep warm in the garage so you won't drink it. You look like you got an F in a high school reunion. Is that a refund check from 23andMe? You didn't have to tell us you haven't showered in two weeks. Trust me, we can tell. You look like bronchitis. If duck lips don't look good on hot girls why would guys do them? Red flag. You don't need to be roasted, you need to be run through a car wash. Damn. You didn't have to flex on us with welfare check man, too far, do your worst lol. Looks like you already did that for us. You look like you have a couch that's also a toilet. If you turn your head upside down, it might have the right dimensions. If diabetes, unhealthy search history and crippling loneliness had a face, this would be it. I'd make the joke that your biggest fan is behind you but that'd be offensive to the fan. Job is big brother. You can't tell op to chin up, for he'll ask which one. Roast me? That's gonna take a while. PhD student in chemistry. I don't like it when people are mean to me, so I'll probably cry. Crush my soul like grad school has. You look like the kind of girl who loves nature, despite what it did to your face. Oh man, you know what they say about hot girls with a PhD in chemistry? Oh, you don't? That's not surprising. At least in chemistry you can get a positive reaction. Crazy catalyst lady. Do the airlines make you pay extra for those bags under your eyes? I hope you don't work with a lot of acids because you look very basic. You'll make a wonderful 5th grade science teacher with your credentials. Two things helium and my reaction to your face have in common. He he he. If your face was any plainer Richard Branson would have bought it out, not expecting much, but do your worst. Your face says divorced your body says from my wayfo. This looks like how depression smells. You're not even unique enough to roast. I'm not saying you're a bland but the sofa has more personality than you. What's your wife's boyfriend's name? Anyone dating you doesn't expect much either. Not expecting much. Funny, I believe those were the words your parents blurted out when you were born. Did your granddad leave you all of his jeans or just that bare? We could fit a solar panel on your forehead and it can power your home. You look like the first half of an antidepressant commercial. You look as energetic as a boneless chicken. I'm 22 and I live in my parents' guest house. I'm guessing out of the 90 plus photos it took you to get this picture, you thought this one best exemplified your horse neck? I've been looking at this picture for 10 minutes and I'm yet to find something distinguishably unique about you. I've seen bigger breasts in a bucket of KFC. 
The crease in your chin makes your shirt look ironed. If my parents could afford to put me in a guest house, I'd be happy, but you look like you could suck a lemon without making a face. Honey it's too late for an abortion, let's raise her in the guest house. I'm sorry your Snapchat premium hasn't taken off. You parents didn't want to see how much a disappointment you are so they moved you to the guest house. Why did I think this was a good idea? Is that a quote from your barber? It's Ron Weasley's more pervy cousin, Spanky Weasley. Probably the same reason you thought that blouse was a good idea. You look like you ask your wife to open jars for you. Said every woman who slept with you. You'd fit in we like rent a scarecrow. You look like you choose to be ginger. You look like you don't think at all. I feel cute today so do your worst. Why is your forehead pressed against an invisible window? I thought this said invisible widow, but I guess that's more forecast than forehead. It must have been embarrassing to ask the Disney store employee if they had the children's shirt in women's XL. You must have eaten stitch. Looks like Barney and Rosie O'Donnell had a kid. Lilo had stitched. You have nobody. Your dad still hasn't come back with the milk yet has he? If you feel cute I'd hate to see what your bad day looks like, because I enjoy punishing myself. That chin is sharp enough to cut someone's wrists. But why must you punish us? Big dog's holding up its reputation of being the shirt people keep on when they go swimming. Sugar daddy chick in the making. Are your eyelashes trying to fly away from that chin, or is the chin fleeing your face? Why does it look like you just ate a lemon? You look like you enjoy punishing dollar menus. You look like you hiss at your co-workers. Your shirt says big dogs, but looks like it's covering some small puppies. You're the girl that dudes call when their side chicks are busy. Fantasy football punishment. Get him. He might be ugly but at least he grows a terrible mustache. You look like Bobby Lee if he never became successful comedian. Look dude, you can be either Asian, or Mexican. Not both. Pick lane. Wedding ring says married, but that hat says not for long. Shorty posing as Indiana Jones. Runner up for the role of Poe in Kung Fu Panda. Was dressing like the 75% off rack at Goodwill also part of the punishment? Mr. Miyagi if Daniel had lost. I'm 20 and I've never been roasted on the internet before, I wanna hear what you got. Your face is like, half lip. I had to turn down the brightness on my phone to see your face. You look like the smiling theater mask. You look like that pretty one from Game of Thrones. I believe his name was Hodor. You look like a country girl who moved to a big city and is now covering her insecurities with layers and layers of makeup. Is that your bottom lip or your first chin? The marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Your mouth is bigger than your future. Scarlett Johansson, 19th birthday today from San Francisco. Currently staying in SF with my parents until I go to college in Colorado. Looking for a job. Never seen a woman cosplay Adam Driver before. Star Wars, Return of the V-Card. Try opening your eyes. Zach Braff let himself go after scrubs. The exact kind of guy who goes to school in Colorado and then wonders why he can't get hired after graduation. Driving at him. You look like the reason boomers complain about your generation. First time meeting after a long distance relationship, roast us. That hover hand is having a long distance relationship with her shoulder. Save your receipt just in case. The regret on her face is vast. I know that look, it's disappointment. I didn't know that the incel community were getting their government issued girlfriends already. This week on Catfish. Next time you might not want to be in the ransom photo. You smile like I told you and you'll see your family again. If you need help, blink twice. How much did it cost to import her? The only thing keeping us together is when we have tandem braids. Go for it. Gandalf the unemployed and his intern that could be defeated by a magnet. Which almond brother is which? Next on, whose has the bigger bush? If she grew a beard I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Jeffrey Lebowski and the little orphan underachiever. This guy is either an atheist or he literally is Jesus. I can smell the van you both live in from here. You guys are the poster children for literally any music festival. Am, am I seeing teeth piercings? Call Drogo and one of his mares. I'm an Argentinian boy who just wants a laugh and hopes for a better economy. How much do you spend on duct tape to keep those two hairy mammoths above your eyes from making out? Never seen an advancing hairline before, in 5 years you will be parting your hair in two places so you can see. Perhaps try not working at Peso General and get a real job. Messi couldn't score between those eyebrows. You installed every single thing onto your face from random packages hanging on the wall behind you. Eugene Levy wants them back. You could probably smuggle exotic birds in those eyebrows for extra cash. But you have all that legit silver just hanging on the wall. You have some dirt on your chin. 
Thank you for watching please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and leave your comments.